And welcome back, everyone. We're going to Horizon um, mm -hmm. to investigate Sanctuary. Yeah, and just quickly to close up what I was saying last video, um, like with any of the DLC characters or situations or anything, they never talk about it unless you have the DLC installed. Which is kind of kind of crappy. I mean, it would be. I mean, kind of makes sense, mm -hmm. especially in like the base game. They had they mentioned something that doesn't exist yet or some or whatever, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. It is what it is, and it's not... And, like like you said, if you don't know who the character is, it's not going to hinder or help your enjoyment of the game. It's just going to be like, oh, yeah, there, well, there's that guy. Yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, I heard about you. Didn't do anything about it, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I don't know why I left this part in. Uh, I'm just adding mods to, to the my black widow to my black widow which is which already I, the strongest sniper rifle in the game even though the javelin javelin has more damage oh wait till you fully max that baby out the black widow yeah oh i don't think i do in the series oh it's the most powerful okay um, if you if you get it up to level 10 it's just you take down people. oh there's level 10 yeah you, you can you can upgrade all the weapons is that a new game plus thing yeah it only goes up to five and if you play the game once you go into new game plus and then you can raise everything to 10 you get all the upgrades that go up to 10 all the weapons can go up to 10 okay well i have no interest in playing this game all the way through again just to get a more powerful weapon to make me play through the game faster the second time uh yeah you know what i mean it's not like there's a really good bonus or anything See, like i think that. it'd be cool if in single player you got your weapon to level 10 and you can bring that into the multiplayer yeah, that would like, actually I think be that pretty would be cool. cool. Yeah, and then multiplayer, you could raise it even higher than that. Yeah, it's like combined, you can get up to level 10 or 15 or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, because it's already hard enough to get upgraded versions of the weapons because yeah. because you it's have random. to... Yeah, it is random. You have to so. buy the battle packs and stuff like that, which thankfully, thankfully, you can use, they give you in-game credits to do that. They don't require you to buy them with actual real-world money. I mean, I mean, you can't you, always you could, do it. Yeah. But it's... It, the amount of credits you get, like three or four rounds, you can get the be the best packs mm -hmm. and do that every well, three or four rounds. it's also dependent on the difficulty, how many people are with you, and um, how how well you do in, right. in that match. I mean, match. for me, yeah, for me on a bronze challenge, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's takes not three hard. Or, it takes three or four rounds, which isn't all that bad. Yeah. The one thing I didn't fully understand is why there is such a low barrier for XP. What do you mean for... In, in uh, multiplayer, in, in multiplayer you get XP based on what enemies you kill and all that other stuff. In, in most rounds, I'm getting like 100,000... Because you can... Thing. Because there are literally dozens of characters that you can play as. That's why. Okay. Because, because the whole idea is that you keep upgrading... Because you can get your characters to level 20, and then you can import them into the um, single player, and then they become a war asset. Oh, oh Okay. I wish I would have known that because I never would have done that for this. But mm -hmm. hey, it's not like they're much. And it, it was you, it like twenty asset points? It's or something like that. It's not anything major. Okay. Um, and I never did it. Um, I yeah, got my guy, I got my guy up to like eighteen, like one of my main guys up to eighteen. And yeah. Then... Yeah, I think like with like with uh, the levels, you have you know, you get. I I mean I've been I was getting like a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand XP per match, mm -hmm. and the most you can get is five hundred thousand. Yeah. So it's like it's like um, yeah, there is way too much experience for just one character. Which you know, hey, mm -hmm. what, if you have multiple characters, fine. But for oh, me, yeah. like me, I only play as one character because it it that's all I really care about. It's yeah. like because because I think um because the way it breaks down is because you have the six classes you can play as, mm -hmm. and then they have um you can play as. The human male and female are separated of the two. Um, you can play as um, Turian, Solarian, um, Batarian, Geth, uh, the Quarians, um, um, probably missing a race or two in there. Most likely. Um, but you can play as a ton of different races, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you have double ones, like you can play as... Uh, they'll have they'll have them part of like the adept class, yeah. But they're like a special form of the human that they have unique abilities. Mm -hmm. Like there's one that they have like these um like almost like whiplash from Iron from Iron Man two weapons. Yeah. That's the that's their melee and they're the, like uh, dragoons I think. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like a special form of this class. So there's literally dozens of dozens of um of characters that you can you can unlock and play and they get unlocked the same way that you unlock the weapons. Right. Um, but the one thing I do like about the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer is mm -hmm. basically the, um, when you, 
fire at an enemy or you do deal damage to an enemy, you get a proportionate amount of points depending on how much damage you inflict. So if you do only 10% of the damage, you only get 10% of the points, and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. I know a lot of games, you you get diddly squat for, you know, for, you know, assisting. Yeah. Versus, like... Or you get, like, or you get like 25 points for assisting when a kill is, like, 5,000 or something. Yeah, it's, like, a ridiculously weird kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but this game actually has a good scoring system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so. not hard to progress through. And you always feel like you're progressing, which is right. something I really like. Yeah, and if you're getting the amount of XP of like hundreds of thousands and stuff like that per match, mm -hmm. you're going to be going through levels like four at a time, five oh, yeah. at a time. Yeah, and and that's why you can find people with an N7 level of like 500. Yeah, I don't even know what the N7 level does. Yeah, it, it, means it, or... it basically, it's the, it, it's across all your characters. Every time, if you have one character that's 15, another character that's 15, your N7 level is going to be 30. Oh, okay. Because it just stacks all the levels together. And it basically just shows off, oh yeah, I'm super cool. It's it's just an overall level for all your characters. Yeah. Oh, and uh, since we're kind of, you know, doing a let's play, we should probably explain what we're doing. Uh, so yeah. we're, we're invading uh, Sanctuary, which is a, you know, a refugee camp kind of thing. And now we're finding out that uh, Cerberus is now creating husks. Mm -hmm. And things got a little out of hand. And I think this would have been a really cool level to have, like, horror elements in. Like that. Jumps. Yeah. This is like Dead Space, but not Dead Space. Even though Dead Space did influence a lot of the things that went into 2 and 3. Yeah. Because they originally didn't want to have, like, a HUD. They wanted it all to be on, like, Shepard's suit, like how Dead Space is. Yeah. Which would have been pretty cool. Like, since he has the Omni tool, that would have been really, mm -hmm. really cool. Um, but yeah, we, we, you know... We're investigating this, and although we, I, I, unfortunately, I cut it out. The only reason we're here is because we talked to Miranda off screen, mm -hmm. and uh, Miranda, you know, saying, "Oh, she found out what his, her her father was doing." I almost said her husband, uh, what her father was doing, and blah blah blah. And so it's like, oh, cool. We now have this tying us together with a side story, which we skipped over. Um, but yeah, now Kai Lang's here. So hey. Awesome. <sighs> so we got a really loud, like calm, like yeah, it is, and, and Miranda doesn't hear it at all. No. Let's move. But you know, I think this is one of the. Is this one of the levels that has cutscenes that you know you have the gun that is on your back? I think it I is. I think so. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's been so long since I've actually played the game. Um, like, on my own and figured all the stuff, but... Oh, and I like using the ice powers, the cryo rounds on these guys, because they just explode. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I love doing that. Um, I love using the cryo rounds as a vanguard, and then yeah. doing the biotic charge. And it just kind of... It's a snow, snowy wonderland. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. So, Henry Lawson, which is Miranda's father, has been basically... Let me say Harry for a second. Yeah, Harry Potter. Harry Lawson. He uh, basically has been conscripted, not conscripted, but paid by Cerberus to do tests on the refugees in order to figure out how indoctrination works and all that other stuff, which I don't, since I wasn't really paying attention, I don't know if that was actually established yet, but that's basically what's happening, so... I don't think it's been established. But yet, hey, that's but what, okay. It's so gonna that, be soon. Yeah, that's that is what's happening, and it's you know, it, 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 you can kind of tell, especially if they're turning them into husks. Mm -hmm. You know, Cerberus wants to know how Reapers operate, essentially. What is that noise? Is that in here or is that outside? It might be outside. Sorry guys, well, I hear a weird noise happening. Like, it sounds like it's coming out of the window. No, it's coming from outside. You just hear it through the okay. air oh. conditioner. Hey, whatever. So, so, so sorry guys. <laughs> so he gets yeah. jumpy. Oh, that's hey, why. I just didn't know what it was. But you know, hey, now we're an electrical engineer, or something. Oh yeah, I mean you can't be a commander forever. You need to go to college for something. I know, and I mean it's like, hey, okay, something is broken. This monitor doesn't work. Okay, let's fix it. Good. I'm glad. 
But yeah, this is one of the few like this level has the cut the weird the few cutscenes that actually um you know it shows you having the weapon you were pr actually equipped, which is weird why others aren't, but because oh, and this is where we find out the re they're trying to te figure out how yeah, Reaper like works soon enough. Yeah, it's like hey, like, whatever. One. So you know they. The elusive man has ba basically, you know, lost his freaking mind. If he's, especially since he's experimenting on humans. Oh yeah. It's like in the last game, he's like, I want to bring up humans. I, they they need to do this. They're the best. Blah blah mm -hmm. blah. I mean, in case you couldn't tell, he's already lost his mind. Right. So apparently, death rates are a hundred percent during this testing, but they're learning, which I guess is is still. You it's know, learning. Yeah. It's like still. That's fine. Hey, whatever. Uh, sure. Oh, so the only thing... I found this... I, I hated Sanctuary for the simple reason that it's like you go... It's like murder hallway, story part. Murder hallway, story part. Like, yeah. they don't deviate from from that that, whole, that formula. Yeah, that whole formula. And it's annoying. Yeah, and, and the one thing I've, I've been... What happens in these later episodes is I keep getting stuck on the walls because of the stupid, oh, you're going to use the same button to sprint as you will to you know use cover. Mm -hmm. Which is really, really, really annoying. Oh, yeah, it is. And I don't like it. Here's the, here's the worst part of that. <clears throat> Stop Sorry. yawning. Sorry. Um, on, on Xbox, you know, it's typically you push the thumbstick down and you sprint. Yeah. In Mass Effect... Nah, it's gonna show your objective. So they kept A being the um, action button. the action button for everything, even though they could have easily just done the stick as the, a, as the sprint. Yeah, and then, oh, like God. every other game. What's does. the What's the, what do you press to sprint? A. a. You hold down oh. A. Wow. No, that's stupid. It is stupid, and I constantly got stuck to walls. What do you? What happens when you press back? I don't remember. I think it takes you to the, um, that, to the that, journal, I think. I'm not why would it, I, that's so stupid. Why wouldn't you take you to show objective? I don't even know what the button is on PC to show objective. I don't think it really matters. But, oh yeah, and apparently they figured out how to, how to like, hijack the uh, indoctrination. So, that's really interesting, and now the elusive man wants to use it on the Reapers. And that's, like, On the Reapers? The Reapers, you know, want to... The shepherd you, beats the Reapers! Yeah, and, and it's like, uh, but the weird thing is, it's like, oh, this is how, you know, the Reapers attacked Sanctuary, or why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. The, the question it does not answer, though, is, how did they find out? Uh, you, you, because... You know what uh, I mean? Because Vilan von Bad Guy will always figure things out. Vilan von Bad Guy. Okay. So that sounds, sounds good. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I call whatever whenever I, whenever um, a movie or game has like an obvious bad guy, because they went to the school of Vilan von Bad Guy. What, they can't I'm come up with anything original. I can't remember the the term that I used. It was, um, shoot, what was it? Stop yawning. <laughs> this is not. See, we're killing aliens. You can't yawn. But I this told is... you, this level's so boring to me. I know, I know. Because it's story part, kill hallway. Story part, kill hallway. Exactly. And no deviation in any of that. Ah, oh, damn, you got your Vilan Von Twiddly mustache guy in my, you know, in my thought process. Now I can't think of anything but that. Yes. But yeah, it's basically the Twiddly mustache school of evil. Pretty much. And, and it's like, yeah, um, sure. And the one thing that's really weird though is like the the ravagers mm -hmm. when you kill them and they drop acid or whatever not that kind of dropping acid oh but, that kind <laughs> of dropping acid but it's like you know you run through it and all of a sudden your body is coated in it and it starts hurting you because I mean didn't you see Shepard likes to like roll around dog? yeah like a dog it, uh, uh, it's Jump! stupid and this part's stupid too a little bit I thought I'd have to climb up onto this not you know. Just walk blithely up and whatever. And apparently they like to keep control panels on the tops of whatever Yeah, transports. and I mean, if you shoot it, apparently you don't shoot through things. Nope. Apparently the material is strong enough that it stops bullets. Which is, I guess, very handy. 
supposedly. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, now it's like... I pressed Q and it just pointed me to the ceiling for no explicable reason. Because it's supposed to show you the brutes. Yeah, the brute even that was on in narrative, front of... Even though on narrative, they're like nothing. Like, look how quickly you took that down. Yeah, on in multiplayer, they're really hard. Even oh, on, yeah. Even on bronze. Oh, yeah. The, Everything is tougher on um, on the multiplayer side. The one things. thing I do like, though, is multiplayer, You, you the uh, grenades rechar the, uh, replenish. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of, like, I figured out if... Um, well, they replenish in um, single player, too. Not automatically. You have to find them. Yeah, in multiplayer, you have to find the the ammo caches. The ammo caches are infinite, though. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, do they have that in single player as well? Well, not infinite, but yeah, they that, have the ammo caches. That's what caches. I mean. That's the in infinite. They keep replenishing in multiplayer. Yeah. Um, but some like sometimes if you play a map enough times, you can kind of figure out how, um, you know, how the spawn system can be manipulated. Mm -hmm. Like uh, one of them, for example, is the. Server space that when they're studying all this Reaper tech, and uh, you know, there's the upper level. Where's everyone else? The lower level. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I'm in here alone, and then I turn around, like, full 360, and oh, there they are. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but, continue. But, but it's like, you, you figure out where the spawn systems work, and you get, like, you get a bunch of, like, little small weak grunts. You throw one grenade, and it takes out a whole platoon. And you get a massive amount of points for it. Oh, yeah. And you don't even have to waste bullets. You just have to toss a grenade or two. And since they're detonate on impact, it, it, it's great. So, Oh, yeah. And so Miranda's injured, and uh, Oriana is being held hostage by their father. So, Yay! Uh, no! Don't do that! <gasps> let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I can be reasonable in this situation. How much do you want? Just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? Plenty. I am worth billions, including all of my gray hair. <laughs> Like you saw that wind up. How yeah. how is it that you didn't that know how to super, brace yourself? That was a super telegraph. Oh, attack. and there's all the blood's gone. Yeah, the, she's not bloody anymore. Except now she's bloody there because they apparently used the same cutscene for when she's not gonna die. Yeah. Oh look, the blood's back. Mm-hmm. Listen to me. Listen. Oh yeah, she's dying. By the way, if you guys yeah. haven't figured that out, uh, you can save her. She, there is a version of this where she doesn't die. Yeah, I'm guessing that's if we talk to her more or, or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, so. there's certain. It's it's all through dialogue. Is options. it me though? Okay, she's crying, and it, Bioware tears don't no, they don't work. And is it just me? But do like the tear ducts in her eye look green? No, they look green. Like they're eye boogers or something. Yeah, and like apparently, that. people don't cry. They just have oil slicks. Yeah, that's bio. That's the Bioware tears. Oh, look at all that clipping. Oh, my. You thought about me. Except how to not die. No, she You'd think Medigel would, you know, make Yeah, like, out. like, right uh, now, just, because, because that was like, that was like God in the first game. Yeah. So you, yeah like, and then in the second game, it's like, when we go to uh, Omega, it's like, I, I'm dying. No, here, have some Medigel. I'm cured. It's like, uh, dude, I can cure a plague, but I can't. <laughs> Cure a bullet wound. Isn't that what Metagel's for? You know why it doesn't happen? Plot. The plot demands it. Yeah, I know. And now she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, Oriana. We never hear about you ever again. Well, I mean, if you guys aren't going to use the body for anything, I'm just saying. Oh, God. Don't, <laughs> don't even start. Oh, my word. I'm yes, just... Ashley, deactivate the signal about the... Why would they have that as a thing? What? A button that disables the communication scrambler that keeps it hidden. I don't know. That makes no sense. And, yeah, we never hear anything about Oriana ever again. Or Miranda. Well, to be fair, there's not much of the game left after this I point. know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, shut up, Hackett. I had to do this. And, and besides, too many unknowns. What do we really know at this point in the game? It, like, we got the Reapers, and we kind of know... the Reapers, we got the Cerbers. 
and then we got the the Crucibers, and, and then we got the Gethers, and, and and well, the Gethers are now on our side, so that's not really much of a problem. But they're still a problem. But it's it, it's how like, do they eat? Um, uh, yeah, you got to feed them somehow. Yeah, I know. They don't just they don't just run on energy that you know of. Do 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 do. <laughs> so um yeah we uh we are we don't really look all that upset or angry or anything like that even though Shepard is even though un- Miranda was he, like our buddy Shepard unfeels yeah yeah unfortunately he doesn't <laughs> everyone else is like oh the feels and Shepard's like the unfeels did, I have no feels but yeah we uh did something with Sanctuary now we got something with the Alliance what did we get with the Alliance the, the Sixth Alliance, Fleet Sixth somehow Fleet. Yeah, I don't even know how that. That's not even explained. They don't. We, they don't we just a lot get of stuff. a war asset out of nowhere. Yeah. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode.